In this lesson, we're going to cover the Contour Flange Tool. The Contour Flange Tool can be utilized to turn 2D geometry, an open profile, into either a sheet metal part, or we can use it to help create the secondary feature. Right now, I just start up a brand new sheet metal part, and all I'm going to do is I'm going to draw in a couple line segments. When creating a contour flange, you do not have to place in rounds for the corners or bends. Inventor will automatically do that for us. So in this case, I'm just going to sketch out some geometry. We could go back and you could place in dimensions as needed. I'm going to skip that step for now. And let's just rotate so we're looking at it from more of an isometric view. I'm going to return out of the sketch environment. And let's click on the contour flange tool. The profile. I'll go ahead and I'll select that. And you can see that Inventor automatically added the bends for us. So at this point I could go back, I could change its direction for that extrusion depth, for the thickness. Do I want it to go up or down? Again, are you going to control the inside or the outside when you sketched in your geometry? So next I'm going to change the distance to 50. And it's previewed in the graphic screen at 50 millimeters. And of course we could go back and you can designate which direction the distance is going to go. In this case, we'll just take it right back out to the positive. Go ahead and click OK. And in the browser, you'll see that we have the contour flange with the sketch. So at this point, if I determined I needed to go back and go a little bit further with my design here, I could go back and add some dimensions to this. Maybe place in an angle. So everything that you would expect to be able to do in a regular sketch environment, you can do here as well. So let's click return and you'll see that our part has been updated to reflect the new dimensions. The next file that I'm going to open up here is called smplate.ipt and it can be found in your chapter 10 exercise folder. So what I want to show now with that contour flange tool we can go back and help create secondary features. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this front plane the active sketch. Let's use the look at tool to look straight at that plane. I'm going to pan the screen up and over. And again, I'm just going to draw in a couple line segments. So I'm going to come straight out. And then let's come back in at an angle line. Again, we could place some dimensions on here. Let's put it in an angle. And we could give this line a length dimension, let's call it 7. Switch back to an isometric view. Again, I'm going to click return, get out of the sketch environment. And we're going to click on the contour flange tool. And for the profile, I'm going to select our sketch that we just created. Now I have a couple different options here. The first one is edge select. So I can go back and select a couple different edges. So let's say I wanted to do the front and the back. I can go ahead and apply that. And if I spin that around, you'll see that it went and did both of those edges for me. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to undo that. Of course, I could also have just edited it as well. Again, I'm just going to start up the contour flange. Select my sketch. And let's take a look at the second option, and that's going to be the loop select. So with that option invoked, as I move my cursor closer to these edges, it's highlighting the specific face. So in this case, I want to take that contour flange around all of the edges around the top plane. So you can see that it went and selected all four of those for me. If I go ahead and click on OK, let's spin it around. You can see that Inventor created a fairly complex part for us in just a couple steps. So let's go back and edit that contour. So let's take a look at what's happening with the corners. So under the corner tab, there's an option here called apply auto mitering. So with that unchecked, you can see that the preview has shown that it's not going to miter off those corners. So you definitely get a different result by not having that option in. You could go back and change your mind later and go back and miter those. Again, we'll just go back and we'll edit the contour flange feature. Go back to the corner tab. 
and I'll just go ahead and check the apply auto mitering click OK to get my result just like I showed before in the browser the contour flange everything is showing up in the browser just like you would expect so all of these are sub features that inventor has placed in there for us